Okay, so sometimes when you're working with positionable servos like this, they're gonna swing in an area that you don't want them to swing and you might need to adjust that. So let's see here. In this case, I'm swinging from there, kind of around to there. This servo has like 160 degree swing. But let's say I wanted to start here. So I'm off by mm, about an eighth of a turner. So what you can do is you open up your servo sock, take the disc out, and we'll see in here that the motor has this channel it can drop into. And what I have to do is, I can't just turn the motor because it'll know that it's been turned, is I can take the servo horn off, turn it that amount that I wanted to move it, and put it back on. Then I just put my disc back on there, fit it back into the servo sock. It'll only go in one way, so it won't close if it's not right, and turn it back on. So we'll see, now we're getting the swing that we are after. Now one more thing, let's just say I actually want to swing under the bottom, I want to start here and go under. So in that case, I, what I can do is take it apart, but instead of taking the servo horn off, I can just turn this all the way around and put it back on. So it's a little simpler. And we'll see now, we're swinging in the other side of it. So that's it, that's how you adjust a servo sock.